back to my channel so i am back with another i guess this is another fitness video it's basically an updated what i eat in a day video and yeah so it is breakfast time right now it's 11 18 a.m i was like why not just make a video out of this while i'm making my smoothie and stuff so yeah i'm gonna start off with this smoothie if you guys follow me on instagram you've probably seen me talk about how i drink smoothies like every single day um, I don't drink this specific kind every single day, but I like mix around what I put in it. But usually I put like around this type of ingredients, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think with every single smoothie I make, I always have mixed tropical berries like frozen pineapples, frozen mangoes, frozen strawberries, and frozen peaches because those are my favorite fruits ever and they're just so good and sweet. Don't mind the great value, okay? Everyone took up all the good brands and this was the only one that was left. Next we have raspberries. Um, I don't really like raspberries that much, like to eat by themselves. I just like to put them in my smoothies because of course they are good for you. Um, they're high in vitamins and minerals and it's a good antioxidant as well. Um, also it's a good anti-ager, um, even though I don't really need that because I'm like 12 years old. But you know, it doesn't hurt to start early. So next we have baby spinach, organic baby spinach. And um, I don't eat spinach by itself either. Then my favorite part ever, avocados. People ask me on Instagram, they said, um, when you make the smoothies with the avocado, does it taste like just straight avocado? Like you're drinking straight avocado? And the answer is no. I feel like you can't even taste it at all, um, which is good. Basically what you're gonna be tasting is just like the fruit smoothie. It's just like refreshing. Oh, and then I also have a banana. This also makes the texture of the smoothie like thicker a little, which I love. Okay, so let's do this. So, I probably put like half the banana in it, or like three-fourths, so like 75%. Ew, and I don't like this. Yeah, more than half. And then I just eat the rest. Okay, so now we're gonna add our spinach. I just take like a handful like this, oh my god. And then I just shove it in there. Then I take like a handful of raspberries, probably like seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Throw those in there. And for the best part, handful, probably a little more. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say I put almond milk as well. I'm using this almond, vanilla almond milk, plant-based from Open Nature. Um, I like this one a lot. I also like this one, but I'm just using the other one today. So now we're going to cut our avocado in half. I usually uh, scoop out the side that doesn't have the seed in it. So yeah, I just scoop the whole entire avocado out of there. So if you want it thicker, you put less, but I probably feel it like that much. And if it's still too thick then, because it's a lot of ingredients, I just add like a little bit of water, but we'll see how this turns out. Also, if you want sweeter literal, oh, sweeter literal, you can always add honey. Okay guys, so now we're gonna blend it up. Don't know what my mom has going on here. So if you guys want the link to this uh, blender, I will put it in the description. It's like $80. It's the standard Ninja mini one. Um, I forget exactly what it's called. But you just flip it over, put it in, and then auto blend. So I'm using these eggs, organic eggs, brown eggs. My mom gets them from Costco. When I was like focusing on gaining weight, I would probably eat like four eggs. I'm not the biggest fan of eggs, if I'm being honest. Wait, let me put this fruit away before it gets bad. I'm not the biggest fan of eggs. Um, when I was putting on weight, I would probably eat like four eggs in the morning and it was not fun. When I tell you like I would just force myself and force myself to eat it, I would literally force myself so bad that sometimes I would even gag when I was eating. I don't know if that was healthy or not. I just don't really like the eggs that much, but you know, assholes live forever. Somebody's walking their dog and their hoodie says assholes live forever. Anyways, right now I'm just going to be making two eggs and I don't eat my eggs any other way except scrambled. I usually add black pepper and seasoned salt. 
Avocado oil. Whisk it. Whisk it. Oh, and if you're wondering why they're in a cup now, it's because I got the eggshells in the other bowl. And my dumbass tried to drain the eggs and they just all stayed in the drainer. So now that our eggs are done, we need a side. We're not just gonna eat eggs by themselves. We need avocado toast. I'm just using the remainder of the avocado, the same one we used for the smoothie earlier. I like overflow it with the avocado. I hope you guys don't think I'm gross. Alright guys, the kitchen is a mess right now. Don't mind it. I just got done working out. I just did like abs and booty, so... Now it's time to eat because I'm hungry. I just sweated everything off. Um, I was originally going to make rice and beans, but you know, rice is going to take too long and I don't have the patience right now. We're going to make these quesadillas. These quesadillas are the best things to ever exist in this world. I usually eat two of them. It's 16 grams of protein. They are 240 calories each. And so I eat two, so that's... 480 calories plus the sour cream Guys, my mom is cooking up this stew and it smells like booty cheeks So I take the quesadillas out of the wrap and I put them in the microwave for 1 minute and 45 seconds So we're taking a white plate because my mom says you're not allowed to microwave black plates I don't know if that's true Good marks up Place it for one minute and 45 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you add our avocado oil. Then we take our quesadillas out of the microwave. So now I let that sit there for two minutes and 45 seconds until I flip it over to the other side and then let it sit for two minutes and 45 seconds again. Guys, I lied, it said two minutes and 45 seconds, but it's actually two minutes and 30 seconds. So this one's a little bit more crispier than I like. This looks so crusty. Okay guys, so really quick before I go to the shower, I just wanted to show you guys some snacks that I eat that are organic. I ordered this box off Amazon. It comes with cheddar bunnies, and these taste literally exactly like goldfish. It is 130 calories. These are bunny grams. They have like chocolate chips in them, and then they have like chocolate bunnies, and they're just like really sweet. So if you're having a sweet tooth, this is really good. And this is 130 calories as well. Then it also comes with cheddar squares. And these literally taste exactly like cheese. It's like there's no difference at all. And these are 100 calories. I also have like roasted almonds that are salted, which I like a lot. Save the best for last. Uh, my organic popcorn, it's sweet and salty at the same time. And yeah, it literally tastes like any other popcorn you would get, but it is organic. It is 150 calories for one and a one fourth cup. And yeah. Okay guys, so it is now dinner time. 5.26. We have an issue. We don't have any chicken. And I was going to make chicken, rice, and beans. But I think I'm still going to make rice and beans because that sounds good. So this is the last rice we have left. I don't know if this one's good. I don't even think I ever had it before. We have our beans. Okay, I just looked everywhere for like any type of meat at all. Because I'm like getting desperate. And we literally have no type of meat at all. So I guess I'm just going to be stuck just eating rice and beans. So rice takes forever, so we're going to do that first. So the first thing we do is boil two cups of water. So we have one cup of water here. I think this is a cup. My mom said it was, so we're just going to trust her. Then we get another cup of water. 
So now we're just gonna let the water boil. Then we're gonna add two cups of rice. But first we have to wash off the rice. So dump two cups of rice in a bowl. So then I just added water to it and I'm just gonna let it soak. Now we're gonna get some butter. We're gonna get some salt. Do you guys think this is boiling? I hope so. Okay guys, so now that the water is boiling, we're just gonna add our rice. And like this much butter. So then I just turned the heat on low and then I covered the rice. Guys, I think I'm gonna be fast and just make ramen while I'm waiting. Okay, I did it, I made ramen. <laughs> now we have sriracha. Okay guys, so the rice looks like it's almost done. So now it's time to put the beans on the stove. Oh my God, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> we let the pot heat up. Then we're gonna throw in our beans. Then we're gonna add one packet, saison. And did I say that right? Beats me. And this. Uh, mm. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Ooh, it looks gross right now, but I swear it tastes so good. Mix it, mix it. Mm. The flavor is immaculate. I think I'm gonna cut up some avocado on the side just to make it look fancy. Okay, so I tried to cut the avocado nice, but it just wasn't working out, so now there's just a blob of avocado on the side. 